Good morning and welcome back to the channel. This is day 34 on the road to scratch. A um, little different venue today. I'm out here at uh, City of Industry at the uh, Pacific Palms Resort. Everybody knows it as Industry Hills. Um, they have a great practice facility. I'm actually playing around here shortly. But uh, came out here to work on a little short game. But also in trying to get the short game better, I found a new short game technique. I know, it's a new one every week. But I said before that I'll do whatever it takes and try everything I can to uh, get that uh, strokes gained short game stat in the positive. It's been negative the entire time I've had Arcos. It's frustrating and so trying something new. Here we go. So I don't know if you saw it on YouTube, but uh, Rick Shields did an interview with a guy called Dan Grieve. Greaves? Grieve? Grieve. Sorry, Dan, if I'm insulting you. Um, he's short game coach out of Woburn, uh, which I think is Milton Keynes in England. Um, anyway, uh, he's coached LPGA, I'm sure PGA Tour players. I know of a couple LPGA. Anyway, so uh, he has a book that he spoke about in the interview, which go watch that. That's interesting first. And then he did an hour long video working with Rick on his short game, and it was pretty phenomenal. It's, it's worth an hour of your time. So that's what I'm trying to do today is try his out. He has a book called Three Releases, something like that. It's about three releases. So he's got a kind of a release one, which is a lower release, a release two, which is kind of a mid height, mid release, and then a release three, which is a higher flight, a uh, little more release or earlier release uh, for short game. So uh, I've tried this once uh, back at my stomping grounds over at Encino, but uh, we're going to try it again today and uh, give you a little taste of it, see if I can do it, uh, because the experience I've had with it so far has been pretty good. Helped me realize a couple things I was doing. A uh, big thing was grip pressure, which I talked about in the last video. Um, Dan's whole thing uh, was to have like a two out of 10 grip pressure. I was probably in the six, seven, eight out of 10. So it's, it's a big change and it's something for me to adjust to. Um, let me put this down and we'll, get started here. What I also figured out is that I've kind of felt it be open before, but I, I didn't know what it was. Why I was kind of healing the club in when I was doing short game. And based on something that Dan was doing with Rick, when he would come back for his backswing, Dan would hold his left arm to let the club start to fall before he pulled his body. So with that, it made me realize that I have a tendency to pull my left shoulder. So if you see what that's doing to the club, it's pulling the club out and basically digging the heel into the ground instead of letting the club skim the grass. So uh, I'm still doing that, but now that I have the realization and I have had that feeling a couple times, it's really helping a lot. So let's try and do this a couple times for you. So like I said, the thought is like a two out of 10 pressure back here, weight less. See, that's the difference between what I was doing in the last video. That was all kind of weight right. But what I noticed is I, I tended to hit fat or hit the ground before the ball, which is okay unless you want a nice crispy spinny shot. So a lot of shots were going kind of long of the green and or skipping through the green or spinning through the green. So this is back to a kind of 60% left, left foot flared 45 degrees. I'm not opening up my whole body for 45 degrees, just the left foot to open up that hip so you can rotate through. So uh, weight left, again, two out of 10 grip pressure, which is huge. Back, not much wrist cock, let the club fall so that bounce can work and through. I don't know if we can hear that noise on the microphone or that sound, that click. This one was slightly muffled because I hit slightly behind the ball, but that click is the one that resonates through your TV when the pros do it. It's, it's a really nice sound. That's when I don't turn back and I pull my shoulder. Club into the ground. A 
Oh, the other big thing was, that, which you'll see in the video when you watch the video, I'll put the link below too, um, that the downswing, the comment Dan made is it feels like it's five minutes. So it's literally just letting the weight of the club fall so it can get back down. So that's why I try to rush it, pull the shoulder, pull the hands. So it's literally letting gravity work and get back to the ball. Oh, a lot of mud flying. Not many golf balls. It's a hard adjustment to make. I'm not used to it. My body wants to pull that shoulder. So it's really a conscious effort. To hold that shoulder back, basically. And let the arms fall. There we go. Still figuring out distance, but we're looking for that click sound. There we go. It just feels more comfortable too. It was a little awkward. It worked, but it was a little awkward kind of standing on my back because when I swung back here, then I started down, I tended to want to fall kind of further on my right, and that's probably why I felt like I was hitting him fat. This feels like you're down to the ball and then hitting through so you're actually rotating through on that left side, which is what you're supposed to do, right? Oops. And then there's that one. All right, one more round. The only issue I have with this, because it's great, so you got two greens, you got a green over there, green over here, is I'll spin you around. There's not a flat lie here. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a great facility. It's great to have the two greens, but it'd be nice to have a flat lie. I know, nitpicky. It's a better facility than what I got, usually, and I'm complaining about it. Oh, come on. So again, his book, his theory is three releases. Um, the first release is more like a kind of chip and run. This is kind of medium height, which is kind of what I'm doing, what I've been working on the most, just to get the motion. And then he has a release three, which is a more, an earlier release, a higher shot. I'll throw that in every once in a while just to work, because it kind of helps me keep my shoulder there. Um, but like that again distance is an issue right now but it's more about getting this technique down all right so obviously you can see it's work in progress like I said um, that video came out, what, a week ago, so I've only had two chances to work on it, but I like it a lot better. Um, just the, the multiple releases, too, um, so it gives you basically a chip and run and a high shot and a medium shot. Um, so, so I'm going to keep working on it. Um, like I said, until that strokes gain stat is in the positive, uh, I'll try anything I can. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment below. Am I crazy? Change my technique every other week? Yeah, probably, but uh, I'll do it. I'll do it until it works. So we'll see you next time. All right, so that's it for Industry Hills. Um, just embarrassing. Horrible. Um, couldn't hit the driver today. Uh, uh, iron shots were okay. Short game was horrible. Putting was mediocre, so um, shot 94.
Handicap is up to eight. I mean, that's not, from five to eight in several months tells you that I think some of the better scores went off the average and these horrible scores are taking over. So um, driving minus 1.7, approach minus 8.4. So irons are just were horrible. Short game minus 6.5 and putting minus 1.9. So still no positive on the short game. Um, but uh, putting some work in and it's getting better. It's just on the course. It just wasn't there today. Um, Misty, kind of rainy day today. Course was wet. There was precipitation. It was like this really kind of light rain. It was kind of weird. So, um, just a weird, weird day. Early morning. Um, I mean, it's not. It's fine right now. You can play right now. But this morning, it was just wet. Just wet, wet, wet. Um, so it doesn't help. I uh, I came out to play it, so I should put play in it. But um, it just makes it a little miserable and and. Uh, Makes you want to go home instead of playing golf, to be honest. So, uh, makes me want to not play for a week or practice for a week and just put the clubs away. But what I'll probably do is take one day off and then go back to work because I'm stubborn and uh, still trying to get better. So, um, that's it. Uh, like I said, 94 today. And uh, just golf. Four letter word for a reason. So, We'll see you next time. Get back to work and uh, make this better. See you soon.